Imagine being part of a family so wealthy your name becomes synonymous with unimaginable riches and opulence. This was the stark reality for the Vanderbilt family in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Cornelius Vanderbilt, also known as the Commodore, amassed a colossal fortune through his railroad and shipping ventures. In fact, by 1865, he was not just immensely wealthy, but the richest person on the planet, with a net worth equivalent to $75 billion in today's money. His wealth was so vast that, even at the time of his death, it surpassed the holdings of the U.S. Treasury, with the Vanderbilts owning one-twentieth of all currency in circulation. But here's where the story takes a turn. Within just a few generations, that immense wealth had largely evaporated. Fast forward to the present, and Anderson Cooper, a direct descendant of Cornelius Vanderbilt and a well-known CNN anchor, inherited only $1.5 million, a fraction so minute of the original fortune that it barely registers as a percentage. So how did such a vast empire crumble to almost nothing? Through extravagant spending, poor investments, and a failure to avoid certain pitfalls that can erode even the mightiest of fortunes. This cautionary tale of the Vanderbilt family serves as a backdrop for our exploration today into the seven expenses all rich people avoid to maintain and grow their wealth. Welcome to Blue Chip Mindset, the winning mindset for success. If you enjoy the video or learn something new, please give it a like. First on our list, new cars. Who doesn't love that new car smell? There's just nothing else like it. But here's the deal with brand new cars. Smart money folks tend to avoid them like the plague. Why? Imagine you spend $40,000 on a new car. As soon as you drive off the dealership lot, your new car is instantly worth $4,000 less. This immediate 10% depreciation occurs simply because the car transitions from new to used. Fast forward five years, and that car might only be worth around 24 grand, since a typical 40% depreciation hit is standard for that length of time. Ouch, right? That's why the financially savvy go for cars that are just a bit used. They've already taken the biggest depreciation hit in value, which makes them a much smarter bet for keeping your wallet happy in the long run. Number two, high interest debt. High interest debt is the direct enemy of growing your wealth. Imagine using your credit card for a shopping spree or snagging a payday loan for quick cash. Feels good in the moment, right? But here's the kicker. The interest on these bad boys can be brutal. In fact, the average APR on a credit card at the time of making this video is a jaw-dropping 28%. If you're not careful, you end up paying way more than you borrowed in the first place. It's like digging a financial hole with a spoon, slow and painful. The rich are well aware of this trap and avoid types of debt that do nothing but drain their resources in the long run. Instead, they opt for sensible borrowing with manageable rates. Staying clear of high interest debt ensures your money remains in your pocket, growing on your terms and not disappearing into thin air. Number 3. Extended Warranties and Unnecessary Insurance Have you ever been at the checkout and suddenly been offered an extended warranty or extra insurance on your purchase? It's like they're betting on your fear of future mishaps. Sure, the idea of extra protection sounds comforting, but here's the reality. These add-ons are often not worth the paper they're printed on. The cost can be steep, and what are the chances you'll actually use it? Slim to none. The smart money move? Skip the unnecessary extras. Those in the know understand that setting aside a little cash for a rainy day fund is a far better safety net. This way, you're not throwing money at a problem that might not ever exist. Keeping your wallet free from the clutter of these financial traps means you have more to invest in things that actually matter. Remember, it's all about keeping your money working for you, not getting tied up in costly, unnecessary extras. Number 4. Lifestyle Inflation Ever get a raise or bonus and think, now I can finally upgrade my lifestyle? It's tempting, right? Suddenly, you're eyeing that bigger house, fancier car, or those luxury vacations you see on social media but can never afford. But here's the thing. The wealthy often resist the urge to splurge every time their income goes up. 
Why? Because they're playing the long game. Lifestyle inflation is a silent wealth killer. It creeps up on you, and before you know it, all that extra cash you were making is going right back out the door. The wise financial play? Treat those income bumps as opportunities to boost your savings or invest. Think of it as paying your future self. This way, you're building wealth instead of just upping your monthly expenses. Staying mindful about not letting your spending increase with every pay raise is a key strategy in keeping your financial health in tip-top shape. So, next time you get that raise, think twice before upgrading your lifestyle and consider how to make that extra income work for you. Number 5. Eating out frequently Who doesn't love skipping the dishes and grabbing a bite out? It's convenient and fun, and the food's great, but here's the catch. It adds up fast. So, what's the better alternative here? Cutting back on restaurant visits. Those who are careful with their cash know that cooking at home not only saves a ton of money, but often leads to healthier eating habits, too. Sure, treating yourself once in a while is part of enjoying life, but making dining out the exception rather than the role can make a big difference in your financial picture. Instead of dropping $50 on a meal out, that same amount could cover about half a week's worth of groceries. It's all about balance. Allocating more meals at home means your bank account stays fuller. And who knows, you might just discover your inner chef in the process. Plus, saving on those eating out expenses gives you more leeway to splurge on truly special occasions, making them all the more memorable. Number 6. Unused Memberships and Subscriptions you know how it goes. You sign up for a gym membership in January, vowing this year will be different. Or you subscribe to yet another streaming service because there's just one show you want to watch. Fast forward a few months, and how many times have you actually gone to the gym or watched anything beyond that one show? Here's the savvy saving strategy. Take a hard look at recurring payments and cut the ones you're not using. It's like finding money you didn't know you had. Every subscription or membership you don't use is cash that could be growing in a savings account or investment fund. Doing a regular subscription cleanse can free up more of your budget than you might expect. Remember, it's not just about cutting costs. It's about reallocating resources to where they'll serve you best. Number 7. Quality over Quantity have you ever bought something from Ikea only to be terrified that if you try to move it or place something on it, it'll collapse faster than a house of cards in a windstorm? It's a familiar tale. That's precisely why choosing quality over quantity isn't just a motto. It's essential for anyone looking to make their purchases last. Splurging a bit more on something that's well-made can save you a ton of hassle and money down the road. Think about it. Replacing a flimsy piece of furniture every year adds up. Investing in items that can stand the test of time means you're not just saving yourself from the dread of another collapse, but you're also building a more sustainable, dependable environment around you. So, the next time you're about to make a purchase, ask yourself, will this stand sturdy, or am I setting myself up for another frustrating replacement? Your future self, chilling on a couch that didn't buckle one day, will thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video or learned something new. If so, please like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Until next time.